Hey, Red Eye, this is Jonathan Daniel Brown from Project X. Hey, I'm Thomas Mann. Hey, I'm Oliver Cooper. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming yeah. with us today. This journey. Good to be in Chicago. Chicago is incredible. Yeah, it's cool. It's great being here and uh, really excited about this movie coming out and I hope you guys go see it. Um, well, tell me, it seems like you got uh, a lot of really interesting questions last night. What's the craziest one you got either last night or ever, and what question have you gotten the most? So, so Red Eye's an alt press, so we can, like, swear and stuff? You can say whatever you want. Okay, this is more of an uncensored Some guy has said to us, he's like, he said, why aren't you drunk, pussy? Yeah, that was, our, like, our uh, second question. That was, yeah. yeah. It's so kind of aggressive. That really set the tone for Very the rest aggressive. of the evening. Yeah. Is, is that what you've gotten the most of, or what, what question do you feel like you're getting? No, 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 not at all. Like, yeah, we get all that of, question all the time. All of our Q&As long, have been so. super, 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 like, pretty reserved, and people raise their hand yeah, and ask a question about the actual film. The Chicago one, we were at the Vic Theater, and it was packed with, like, 500 people, and then I guess there was drinking, and there was merriment, and it seems everybody stuck around. Everybody stuck around. So... By the time the Q and A came, it wasn't really people raising their hands on the it was people just shouting stuff yeah. like "Show us your boobs," you know. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Someone asked, uh, "Did you? Did you uh, do you have a boner?" Was that a question? It's probably to me. I don't know who the, it was to specifically. Yeah. Maybe to the three of us collectively. Yeah. yeah. Collective, uh, collective boner. Collective yeah. boner. Yeah. Which is also the name of my new band. Collective boner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're They'll playing be playing. The They'll be playing Friday here night. at the yeah. Vic every Friday. Movie does such a great job of bringing people into the party. Did you have any run-ins with the cops while you were filming? Yes, actually. That's the first time that's been asked, and that's so cool. We actually had the Burbank police try to crash the set a few times because of noise complaints. Yeah, yeah. There was there were, we, we were on a lot, on the Warner Brothers lot, but then there were neighborhoods, real neighborhoods surrounding yeah. the area. Good so, old Burbank. People. Yeah, it was, yeah. Like, it was like a real party. Did it, you go and warn them and say, just so you know? Well, we or, yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody, they have, look, I, mean, I was they like, guys, I'm uh, play the lead act in the movie. Look, just give us a break here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm sure I, they have. Uh, you guys need a warrant to come and search our lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, you know, they, they uh, there was like a talk. I always like overheard them talking about like we may not be able to do the helicopter shot or you know we're not going to be able to keep playing the music because the big thing was we play the music on you know during takes and not during takes to keep that like energy flowing because it really does so it does feel really real the party stuff right and it does in the movie and uh, so that that was like really hard because four in the morning you're blasting. Like Kid Cudi, and it's just like, yeah. Uh, neighbors probably are like, "What the hell is going on for six weeks straight?" You also live next to a movie lot, so um, yeah, it's your fault. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And then they, they, the they complain so about cheap. it, yet then they complain yeah. that movies are leaving LA. So yeah. It's like, uh, you know. So not only would this party almost not be able to happen in real life, you almost can't even make a movie about it because people are complaining. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, yeah there's, there's, yeah. there's no way this could happen in real life. I mean, the cops would come in five seconds flat. Yeah. But thanks to movie magic, <laughs> yeah. the power, that's, that's the cool thing about this movie. It like transcends it the, the trans- police, it transcends, transcends the, police, the authorities. Trans- yeah. You know, it, they they come and they leave. You know, they, really they come back several rock. times and leave. And it's, yeah. yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, it's punk rock. It's well, punk rock, man. You're right. I'm sure there will be some people who see it and are just like, wow. This goes to show you something terrible about the youth of America. So right. take well, this it's opportunity it's to Santorum 2012. You know, yeah, but it's not even like it's not like kids have just started recently, like in this generation, yeah. you know, getting <laughs> fucked up at a young age and you know having sex and all that. It's like it's, like, it's, it's always have you seen three hundred? This one's yeah. like you're right there in the action, <laughs> yeah. and people are all of a sudden like it's too real for them. People, yeah, people so are, back away. people get like this about movies all the time, and it's like get over yourself. I do think this movie actually would discourage somebody from partying too hard because you're right there in the in the eye of the storm the yeah. whole time. And yeah, it's we like, do really make it look unappealing by the end of it. We just yeah. look disgusting. And you don't yeah. want to, and it makes you not want to host the party. You yeah. want to go to a party, maybe. Yeah, like party. I would love to party, just not just you not my host house. That party. That yeah. sounds terrible. It looks fun to a point. Yeah. What is the best party rap song right now, and would you care to rap it for us? Uh, Thomas is the hip hop guy. In yeah, this group. let's uh, go ahead. You do um, you take this one. <laughs> yeah, the, the new Drake song, The Motto. Have you heard it? I haven't. I don't know okay, it it's good. It's like, now she want a photo. You already know, though. You only live once. That's the motto. <laughs> we yellow and we bite it every day. Look at all these white people rapping. Are you dropping in bombs? Can you edit on hey, this? Hey, it's, thing? it's, it's, yeah, well, can I mean, bleep it out, whatever. Okay. Well, that's that's a good party song right now. That was, how successful do you think it would be if you actually put up a sign that said, Naked Girls Only, anywhere? 
Uh, well, I tried it at my grandma's uh, senior retreat. The girls. Yeah. It was super successful. It was great. It? So many new ninety-year-old yeah. women walking around. Yeah, it was sort of near the end of their lives. So they're looking for a little, well. spa- little bit of a party. Throw some yeah. Viagra in the in the popcorn bowl, and everyone's going crazy. <laughs>